The boat BK-31 destroyed during the Battle of Stalingrad. BK-31 was lifted from the bottom of Volga in November 2017. It took almost two years to restore it. All works were carried out by the experts of the Military Historical Museum Heritage. The Amat cruiser BK-31 took part in the defense of Stalingrad in the summer and autumn of 1942 as a part of the Volga military flotilla. The boat was hit by German gunners on the northern tip of the Golodny Island and then sank. For long 75 years it lay at the bottom of Volga covered with sand until divers discovered it. Pavel Nikitin was appointed commander of the BK-31 and commanded the boat for only two weeks. He died on October 9, 1942, when a shell hit the commander's cabin. He was only 23 years old. The remains of Pavel Nikitin were found in the wheelhouse of BK-31, where he died while driving the boat. Binoculars, a belt, a revolver of the Nagan system, as well as TT pistol hidden under the threshold and other attributes were found with him, which made it possible to recognize the commander of the vessel. Experts say that about 260 ships sunk during the days of the defense of Stalingrad rest at the bottom of Volga River in the area of modern Volgograd. The armored boat was found at a depth of 7 meters. The remains of 13 people were found on the BK-31, but not of the dead were crew members. Perhaps at the time of its death the boat had red army soldiers on its armor crossing to Stalingrad. But there is different information about the dead sailors in the Battlefield Report and Irreparable Loss Report. The Battlefield Report says that the commander of the boat was killed and five people were wounded. The Loss Report says that four people were killed, including the commander. Most likely, there were wounded Red Army soldiers among the 11 dead bodies found. And, according to the military prosecutor's office, there were also civilians on the boat, including children. Three crew members of the BK-31 definitely survived after the tragic events of October 9th and 10th. They were arrested and shut down the line on October 12th. According to the military prosecutor's office, during the shelling by the enemy, they fled and carried along the rest of the crew, leaving wounded soldiers, evacuated women and children on the boat. Only three crew members of the armored boat were shot. All other Red Navy men, sentenced to execution, were sent to penal battalions. Well, what else was found on the boat during its clearing of silt and sand before restoration? For many years of being in the water with a strong current, the holes of the boat were covered with silt, which made it possible to keep weapons, personal belongings of sailors and soldiers in excellent condition. Thirteen rifles were found, one with an optical sight, and one Simonov SVT self-loading rifle, nine PPSH. A DT tank machine gun was extracted from the machine gun turret, together with dozens of grenades and about 150 shells to the turret gun. A lot of personal belongings were also found, according to which it was possible to identify several crew members of the BK-31 found on the boat, who were previously considered missing. School textbooks were also found, which indirectly confirms the version about the evacuation of civilians, including children, from the city on BK-31. Today, the armored boat is installed in a closed glass pavilion on the Volgograd embankment in memory of the heroic defense of the city from the Nazis. After the complete reconstruction of the waterfront, it is planned to open access to the pavilion itself where BK-31 stands. And now it's better to visit it at night because of the incredibly beautiful illumination to see it in detail. Thank you all for watching, friends! Subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos.